Hi guys, ciao ragazzi! Today I want to talk about Italian gestures that maybe not everyone knows. But something else that could possibly save your life. No, I'm kidding. I'm not 100% sure that these are used everywhere in Italy, but I'm 99% sure because comedians use them and also my mom is from the south and my dad is from the north, but still they both use that. So I think it's quite common. All these gestures is something that we would use like to joke about that or when you're actually in a place where you can't talk loud but you still want to communicate. First one, here where you have your stomach, you do like this and that means that you are hungry basically. So you want to put something here, something is missing there. <laughs> if you don't know how to say ofame by the way. Second one, with the same kind of pose of this hand against this one, so this kind of thing, um, it means to go away, let's go. Let's say I'm out with my friends and we meet someone that we didn't really want to meet, but still we're being kind and we're talking all together and we're like, mm -hmm, like you know, when you want to go. And maybe I, I meet my friend's eyes and I'm like, Let's go. But in this case, you need not to be seen by the others, right? Because it would be rude. Let's say you're in a theater or everywhere else where you can't really talk and you're like, okay, I'm done. Let's go. And yeah, so it's not something that you would say like smiling, like, hey, no, because it's kind of a sneaky way to use that. Third one, it's still with the same pose of this. Eh? You do like this here. Think about that it's something that you can't really digest, like it doesn't really go down, you can't swallow. Still the same example where I'm out with my friends and we meet someone that we didn't really want to meet, but maybe my friend likes them, okay? I don't and I'm like, still, try not to be saying about that because it's like, I can't stand them, I can't digest them, so yeah, I want to go. So it would be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can actually have a conversation about that. Or you would use that again with one of your friends, like to, to joke about that. My favorite comedians also always use that. So if you want to see some Italian comedians, which are really funny and which use a lot of gestures, I recommend Ado Giovanni Giacomo. Well, I would recommend them anyway, because they're my favorite ones, but still. Fourth, this one means there is nothing or it didn't go well, niente, non va. For example, I know that my friend had a date yesterday and I asked him or her, how did it go? And he's like, like he doesn't really want to talk about it. It's just like, nah. Did you manage to fix your phone? Hmm. Nope, like it didn't work. Or can you take the thing inside my bag and there, like, there's nothing here. Non c'è niente qua. Yeah, and it's not something that you really need to use when you're talking, but still, it's something that you can see. Fifth one, with the same kind of gesture of what, which is not mangiare, okay, what, you move it like this. And this one is, are you scared? Are you afraid? Let's say that we're arguing and we're fighting and I'm like, come here and I will beat you up and you're staying there, like you're not moving and then I can go like this. You're scared, huh? It's a kind of a provocation of a joke. Again, there are a lot of comedians that use it. Okay, there are actually many others, but I just picked this one because they're the most useful maybe or the ones that you will see the most but there is one that you may not see but that I find really interesting and fun which will be our last one, the sixth one and it's this one maybe you use that also somewhere else in the world but I am i don't know so please tell me so it basically means that you are saying a lie just to please the other person like for example but it's not something that you use like with people that you don't really know for example if i am at an interview and they ask me where would you want to work from here in 10 years for example and i'm like oh, i've always wanted to work here and i will always do that's a lie okay 
and they know that. And th in that case, they would do that, but they don't do that because it's rude, right? Or like, for example, I want to go somewhere and I ask my best friend, but she can't. And then I ask someone else and they're like, why did you ask me? And I'm like, oh, because I told about you right away. And they're like, hmm, like, nah, it's not true. Yeah. I don't know, it's like your chin is getting longer. I will search about that. Maybe it's, it has something to do with Pinocchio. Anyway, let me know if you knew them or why don't you try to include them in your daily life. Thanks for watching!